Hey there, how you doing? This is Mike. I'm back again with another bonus video for you. I hope you liked last week's bonus video or yesterday's bonus video regarding uh, why choose and how to choose and what questions to ask when choosing your high quality supplements. And I hope that um, you can find that the supplements that I'm talking about in this series will help you kind of match what you're looking for. But why do we need to supplement? Now you may be asking yourself, well, or you may have heard people say, well, I don't need supplements. I just need to eat the right food, right? Or I just need to get out in the sun more to get more vitamin D. And those things are true, yes. But there are a lot of holes, a lot of gaps, and a lot of things that we don't get that we think that we're getting. And because we don't get these things over time, our bodies and our deficiencies uh, of nutrients, they build up. And then what happens is, we begin to manifest diseases and illnesses. You know, as an occupational therapist, I work in the field with the uh, geriatric population, and I see all these conditions come about in their 70s and 80s, and the quality of life has just been diminished. And now that they're on medication, which we're going to talk a, lot of, a little bit about today, their medication is just killing any source of nutrition that they have or, or that they're getting. Um, so... There are reasons why we need to supplement. I don't know if you're new to supplementation or if you um, do take some supplements, but the last video, the last bonus email video talked about the quality. So if you are taking supplements, then hopefully that video kind of woke you up or highlighted some things as to why you should take a second look at what you're probably taking because it may not be that high quality. It might be cheap, but it not, might not be the highest quality. So this is why I'm speaking with you today to introduce you to a high quality of product that you um, should be exposed to but just may not know about. But if you don't take supplements, let's talk about the 10 reasons why you need to. Are you ready for this? This is crucial. Okay, reason number one. Current commercial agriculture techniques leave soil deficient um, and import minerals causing the food grown in the soil to share the same mineral deficiencies. So that's common sense today today's agriculture is causing so many food to be depleted with nutrients because the soil that they're growing it in is depleted itself so how can you expect the food that grows out of depleted soil to have a surplus of nutrients the food grows from what it's grown from you know so it just like if we say we are what we eat the, 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 the crops that are growing in the soil eats from the soil. It gets its nutrition from the soil. So if it's not getting anything, then what makes you think that the crop is going to have all the nutrients that it needs to have for our consumption? Reason number two. Many foods are shipped long distance and are uh, stored for long periods of time, both of which cause the, the, the depletion of vitamins in these foods, including vitamin B, complex and C. So not only are foods being depleted by nutrients when, it, when we grow them, but they're even becoming even more depleted when they're shipped and they stay off, you know, away from the plate for a long period of time. So if you're getting your food from you know, some country town, somewhere across the state or across the country, by the time it gets to you, it's depleted and the necessary nutrients that our bodies needs, preferably vitamin B and calcium. Um, reason number three, food processing, cooking, and preserving um, leads to nutrient depletion in our food supply that makes it difficult to obtain adequate nutrition from food alone. So for people who say, well, all I need is, is food to get my nutrition. Well, even when you cook your food, you preserve it, processed food, you're depleting um, you're, you're eating depleted food. You're really not eating food because what makes up food really is the nutrients that it has. So you're really not eating food. You're eating stuff. Okay. So when you process, you know, eat processed food, even when you cook it, um, and based on how you cook it, will determine how much nutrients is being depleted from that from that food item. Reason number four: Many fruits and vegetables are genetically bred to improve visual appeal and crop yields no nutritional value okay which frequently results in less nutritional values than our ancestors food supply so 
you know, foods aren't grown the way that they used to, really. Because a lot of these vegetables and fruits are made in laboratories. And whenever you have foods made in laboratories that's a clone of a real fruit or vegetable, then it's not, it's, it's not coming packed with all of the original nutrients that we need. Okay, so um, unless you go to the store and you look for those foods that are not GMO, genetically modified, um, and it should be labeled now, but, you know, we've been eating a lot of fake stuff, you know. So that's going to also to deplete nutrients. Um, reason number five, erratic eating habits. Insufficient chewing of food, eating on the run, and stress contribute to poor digestion, making it difficult for our bodies to extract all the nutrients it needs from food. So how many times, I know, I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm a victim of it. I'm hungry, I want to eat, I just scarf it, scarf it down, you know. But taking time to chew your food is very important, very valuable. Because what happens is this. When you chew certain food, the process of chewing, especially with certain vegetables, the process of chewing breaks down the food and also releases certain nutrients from the food and enzymes from the food that our body needs, especially when it comes to certain vegetables. So we should chew our food better, chew it more. Because if we don't chew it, Oh, here's what else chewing does. Chewing really helps with the digestive process. So it makes what we consume, what we digest, a lot easier for the system to digest it because we've broken it down so much, the stomach doesn't have to work as hard to break down. So if you're just eating food and you swallow it whole, you know, and you chew up a little bit, but then you're ready to swallow, but you don't chew everything up, sometimes you'll have some indigestion. You'll have some regurgitation because your food is not fully chewed up. It's still in a solid form, and your sh food should be in a liquid form at some point. Okay, um, stress. Being stressed could also block uh, a level of uh, absorption of the nutrients that our body needs. Pharmaceutical drugs um, use have escalated over time. Most medications depleted essential nutrients, making people more vulnerable to deficiencies. I talked about that briefly in the opening about the drugs that we're on. I mentioned about the population who I work with. They're all on medication. And none of them are really getting the nutrients that they need. And then when you look at their lunch plate, their breakfast plate, their dinner plate, garbage, more garbage, no green vegetables. The whole plate is brown. No vegetables, no lively food that's, you know, food that's alive. It's all dead food, okay? So, and then when you're on medication, again, that depletes vitamin B, calcium, you know, uh, uh, different nutrients that our body needs. So um, it's important to supplement on top of what you're doing as long as it doesn't cause any type of drug um, supplement interaction. Um, specific times in life and health conditions may result in higher needs of certain nutrients. For example, folic acid needs, uh, needs tends, uh, women who are pregnant needs more folic acid. Um, and women who are menopausal may need more calcium or may be more vulnerable to, to calcium deficiencies. So at certain times in our life, we need to supplement with specific things to help um, that part of our life deal with, with the uh, deficiencies. Uh, increasing level of environmental pollution in the air, water, and food may cause our bodies to use more nutrients than normal to, de to detoxify and eliminate harmful substances. This is especially true for the antioxidant vitamins, some which are uh, include the, the ACE vitamins, A, C, and E. So when it comes to pollution and toxicity and things like that in the air, your body is being hit by free radical damage. So your body uses up antioxidants that it, that it produces uh, from, from, from the glutathione um, to generate these, these, free rad these antioxidants to combat the free radical damage. So what do you think you have to do? You have to replenish those antioxidants on a regular basis because we're around toxicity all the time and our bodies are always fighting, okay, free radicals. So we've got to replenish those antioxidants that our liver produces to help with um, fighting those um, free radicals and, and prevent that from, from causing damage. Um, we all have genetic weaknesses, including higher needs um, of some nutrients higher rates of depletion for certain nutrients and an 
increased likelihood for genetic expression of some illness if vitamin or mineral deficiencies are present. So what happens is, if we are prone to a condition, and like high blood pressure or cholesterol or whatever, if 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 our bodies are uh, uh, lacking nutrients, okay, then we're going to be more prone to express those genetic diseases that are found in our genes. Okay? So we have to make sure that we kind of know okay, what we're genetically prone to and replenish and, and fortify our bodies with the right nutrients that will help keep that gene expression down. Okay? So it doesn't come alive and express that disease. So by knowing what supplements that we need or are deficient in can help with keeping that disease gene expression and suppression. Okay, so that's a very, very, very important concept. Many nutrients have been proven to prevent or aid in the treatment of health conditions like high cholesterol, arthritis, um, birth defects, and cancer. Okay, so by knowing what nutrients we can fortify our body with can help stave off high blood pressure, diabetes even, arthritis, cancers, okay? By knowing what nutrients our bodies need, all right, um, we can fight off these diseases. That's called preventative. Don't wait till you get it because by then it's probably too late. But now if you know ahead of time what nutrients our bodies work well with, hey, then we need to go fortify our system with those things to prevent getting those diseases. Okay, so these are the 10 reasons why you and I need to supplement. I hope this list kind of, you know, introduced you to a new idea of supplementation, why you need to supplement, but not only just supplement with anything, supplement with high quality nutrition. That's why I'm introducing to you the Isotonic Nutrimetrics um, product line for your daily nutrition. It's an advanced product line, an advanced uh, nutraceutical um, that will help you get what you need in your body right away. Okay, so I encourage you to check out um, the information that I provided. Click the link on this page, on this email that says click here. That will take you right to the information uh, to purchase and to get more science behind the isotonic line of Nutrimetrics nutritional products. Okay, this is your health coach, Coach Michael, and I hope you all have a well, safe, healthy day. Take care. Bye-bye.